and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to Tankavara slash the Golden Village and I'm so excited. So we just finished with a show and I was just checking out the souvenir shop. They had some very cool hats. I wanted to get them but it was like 39 euros per hat. I was so tempted. Like if the price would have been 19 euros and under I would have considered to buy it but 39 euros I get it. Quality is great but no, I'm not spending 39 euros on a hat that I'm just gonna wear once. As you can see, the roads here are really nice. There's a lot of trees and that's what I love about Finland, which is the nature. There's just so much of it here. And once we arrived to the gold village, we really wanted to take a picture in this photo booth, but unfortunately it was broken. So we could not do that. So before going to the reception, we were just goofing off here a little bit. Western looking, quite nice, we'll admit. Filling here a little form with my name. Got my key and now we're going to check where I'll be spending the night today. <laughs> Some lunch here at the Gold Village, and I'm so excited. We got like two, two mushroom soups, and yes, later we're going, gonna go and check in the village, like what stuff they have there. As you can see, we're over here having some lunch and the food was so good. The mushroom soup was just amazing. It tasted so fresh and I just love how you could actually taste the mushrooms. It was so good. And after that, we were just still exploring and apparently this car had a sauna in it, which I am not surprised for Finland. So we spent the whole afternoon just wandering around and just checking what things they have and what they're selling. So all of these like little houses or village houses or whatever you want to call them, they're actually replicas of how they used to look like before. Like how they used to look like in different countries back then, decades ago. And it was pretty cool. They were selling some gold, some crystals, some pretty cool stuff. So I just came back from the show, it went pretty well, and now we're going to dinner. We're gonna go and eat because the mushroom soup from earlier was so good that we decided, no, we're gonna go there for dinner as well. And yeah, I also did change into my Norgum shirt, and yeah, I'm loving it. So this time I got the burger because, I don't know, I was just calling my name and let me tell you, this burger was so good. It was absolutely delicious and my mom, she got the mushroom soup again, not gonna lie, it was amazing. And this is my room, like I love this fireplace. I think the fireplace is the highlight of this entire little cottage. It just looks exactly how it would have been decades ago, which is what I love. I love places that have a history in it. It's amazing. Guys, good morning. So now the time is around 9 a.m. and I'm gonna go and see if I can get my ticket so that I can go and look for some gold, which starts at around 10 a.m. if I'm not mistaken. And I'm so excited. I wanted to do this since last year, but I just had no time. But now I finally have, whoops. <laughs> Now I have finally some time at least, so let's go. I absolutely love this like little cottage that I'm staying in because it just looks 
something like it came out in the 1950s or even before that, like way before that, like early 1800s or something with the, you know, fireplace and everything and the wooden beds. It's just so cool. beautiful day yesterday was quite cold and today's still pretty cold but it's sunny and it feels super pretty as you can see it's super sunny and that's the cottage that i'm staying in it's super cool i got my ticket for the gold fanning and i'm very excited and it's quite easy it's quite near here but i'm just gonna go and check because i'm the type that will get lost over anyway with any kind of direction so I'm just gonna go check to make sure that's in the right place They even had a house here made out of bottles, which was pretty cool in my opinion. Like you can literally see each and every bottle. There's even the bottle caps inside. So that's pretty cool. So before the tour started, the instructor gave me some boots to change into. It's included in the ticket price and it was like pretty fun. And then he instructed us to just dig up some earth into this little like plate. And let me tell you, I did dig new earth every three times. Like, oh my god, and I found some pieces of gold. It was so much fun. I just loved it. That was quite a fun experience. I just finished, I spent like an hour and a half there because I kept like on digging trying to find and I did find some small pieces. I'm gonna show you in a little bit when I arrived to my cabin, but I found some pieces of gold and in my opinion, it was a lot of fun and definitely worth the experience. This is the little thing that they give to you that if you find gold, you can like put them in here. I did find actually quite a few, but because since my eyesight is so freaking bad, I could not like, you know, get every single piece because I found like many like those small little pebbles of gold. But I only got like a few that I was able to like get like <laughs> myself. But I got a few, so yes. It's a little bit funny like just thinking about how freaking desperate like because it was me and a few other people. Like to just think how desperate we are just to find like some pieces of gold. But hey, I'm happy I just find some. So yes. Yeah, if you happen to pass by the gold village, I recommend more than anything that you try and look for gold. It's so worth it. I even asked like the person who was showing us what to do, like what's the biggest like that he found. I forgot how many grams it was, but he said it was like this big that he found like last year. So pretty cool. And you said that even someone did find like half the size or maybe this size, like um, a customer to find this size of a gold by the way guys i'm sorry if i did not explain too much of what i did it's only because i would rather have you experience it by yourself that's why if you pass by here in finland and if you pass by the golden village i recommend that you try out that experience because it's such a fun experience and you learn a lot actually how they used to do it back then and yeah it's pretty fun and then after that we just went along to different parts in lapland and had our shows every day and yeah it's been a lot of fun and we're gonna keep on doing that
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I forgot to make an outro there at the Gold Village, so I'm making one now. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys!